Netflix had one of their worst years in over a decade in 2022. Their stock taking a massive hit. Hundreds of thousands of subscribers fleeing, in large part, not only because there's more competition, not only because they're raising their prices, but also, quite frankly, because people are tired of garbage programming, especially when identity politics is front and center, when there's so much stuff on these streaming platforms that you can tell is made with a woke agenda at the forefront. And Netflix is one of the worst offenders when it comes to that. And as a result, they paid a heavy price. It's so bad that Reed Hastings, who's been with Netflix since its inception, retired suddenly out of the blue because that's how bad it's gotten. And now with Netflix coming out and trying to push back a little bit after all this criticism because they canceled somebody's favorite show, they said, listen, we don't cancel successful shows, so stop bitching and stop complaining. Well, a lot of the woke people online did not like that. That's gaslighting. Internet on Netflix CEOs claim that they've, quote, never canceled a successful show. And on the surface, it makes sense, right? Why would Netflix cancel something that was working for them? Why would they cancel something that was bringing them in money? The real answer is th they wouldn't, unless there was some crazy reason with some controversy or something like that. So when Ted Sarandos came out and said that, we've never canceled a successful show, a lot of people online who had their favorite show canceled, regardless of how many other people watched, weren't happy about it. While Ted Sarandos did not make it clear how Netflix measures the success of a show, his comments sparked several strongly worded response, several strongly worded response from fans of canceled series and movies. Netflix CEO recently defended the history of TV cancellations and said that the streaming giant has never canceled a successful show. In an interview with Bloomberg, co-CEOs Ted Sarandos and Greg Peters opened up on the streaming platform's decision-making process. The executives were asked about the relationship with the creative community and viewer ire after years of premature series ends. To this, Mr. Sarandos answered, we've never canceled a successful show. A lot of these shows are well-intended, but talk to a very small audience on a very big budget. The key is you have to be able to talk to a small audience on a small budget and a large audience on a large budget. If you do that, you can do that forever. This is something very similar to what we've been saying. You have a ton of these shows that are marketed towards a very tiny, fractional part of society, yet they seemingly get so much play, they get so much money behind it, they get so much marketing, and it turns out not to be a success because, again, it's not made for a lot of people. In fact, it might turn most audiences off. They don't want to watch it. That's really all he's saying, but people were not happy about that. Um, Netflix, you must be joking. Never cancel a successful show. I don't know a single person who could say you haven't canceled something they really enjoyed. If the problem is small audiences in comparison to budget, maybe you need smaller budgets to stop canceling everything. Well, that's actually what he was saying. He was saying you can have small budgets for small audiences. That's what he said in that fucking claim. But the idea that, listen to this argument. I don't know a single person who could say you haven't canceled something they really enjoyed. That does just because one person enjoys something doesn't mean it's successful. Like how stupid can you possibly be? Netflix out there saying they've never canceled a successful show. That's gaslighting at Netflix. That's gaslighting. Not Netflix gaslighting the entire world claiming they never canceled a successful show. According to the tweets, the fan favorite shows that are going to be canceled are The Babysitter's Club, The OA, Glow, I'm Not Okay With This, Atypical, Santa Clarita Diet, The Dark Crystal, Age of Resistance, and more. The arguments that are being put out there are about as dumb as you could possibly imagine. Of course, even the show, even Velma, right? Velma is the worst audience ratings in history. Um, even that has its fans. There's people that enjoy that. Just because some people enjoy something doesn't make it successful. Even if the majority of people that watch it enjoy it doesn't make something successful. We can sit there and point at, say, Black Adam, a movie that I didn't particularly like. But when you do look at the audience reaction in general, most people that saw it had a good positive view of it. They were okay with it. Unfortunately, that movie wasn't a success. It lost over $100 million at the box office because not enough people consumed it. Not enough people went to see it. 
Simply because you like something or because people you know like something doesn't make it successful. I like the movie Plane. The movie Plane was exactly what I expected out of a Gerard Butler movie. But guess what? People aren't going to see it. So it's not successful, despite whether I liked it or not. Uh, but Netflix just continues to get blasted from nearly everybody, whether it's people that just want actual good entertainment or the woke lunatics who are pissed off that their favorite woke show got canceled. It seems like it just continues to get worse. The backlash just continues to get worse for Netflix. But when you put out this much garbage, when you lose this much of your subscriber base, when your stock dips that much, really you have no one else to blame but yourself. Thank you